Hey there, y'all. It's me, Painty Menti, back at it again for another art stream. 
Welcome in if you haven't joined before. Um, we do this every single Tuesday, um, bar whenever I am away from my computer. Um, but this week, um, I put a little poll up on the chat in, or not in the chat, excuse me. I put a little poll up on Instagram pretty much to uh, either, you know, continue with the art challenges. Hey, Marbleade Squire, thanks for lurking. Um, no worries about not being uh, in the, active in the chat, but thank you so much for being supportive. I appreciate you. Um, but, oh yeah, so basically I put a little poll up in uh, Instagram. It's where I'm mainly active um, for, you know, art challenges, horror icon stickers to kind of keep going on with that or to finish some, you know, work in progress stuff. So it looks like with that quick poll, you know, it only lasted for a couple of hours because I, uh, I put it, uh, right before I went to the gym or actually I did that poll right as I was in the sauna. So anyway, um, so the one that won was to finish the work in progress stuff that I got going on. So I'm kind of going to cheat here. I did like draw Shigo. Um, I drew her like a, a while ago, maybe on Monday, because I was just like in a Shigo mood. I wanted to draw her, so I did it because I'm an adult and I can do what I want. But, um, so I really, really, really want to like go ahead and sketch her on this end in my style. I'll go ahead, I might, you know, do some line art, might color her, depending on kind of where we're feeling, where we're at. If not, then I'll go ahead and I'll go into one of my own little, you know, original art projects, you know, one of my personal art projects, and we'll kind of see what needs to be finished and touched up there too. I know I got a little cowboy drawing that I wanted to um, get pretty much finished. So yeah, that's um, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna finish little Shigo, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna probably finish a cowboy, really. I'm not too sure. But if you are tuning in, happy uh, 4th of July. Um, very excited to be here. We're gonna have turkey burgers tonight, so that's super exciting. Um, it's also, coincidentally, my BFF, Cutie Zero Mutie. Um, uh, it's her and uh, Red Ninja Turtles anniversary, both when they started dating and when they got married. So super, super excited for them, super happy for them. It's been a couple of years, I think, since they got married. So if you follow them as well, you know, wish them a happy anniversary. They, uh, they deserve it. They're on a little road trip right now. They're going to actually visit me here in a bit, but super, super fun, super fun. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and let's, um, figure out our music today. Now it's got to be all DMCA free just because I don't want Twitch taking down my channel. So we'll figure it out. I'm going to click away from the mic <laughs> because I have a habit of getting super, super close. Um, but let's see, we want DMCA free. How do y'all feel about rock right now? I think, uh, I think Shigo is pretty, pretty good in the rock category, the DMCA free rock. I don't know. It's definitely, um, a toss up whenever I throw up the music. Uh, so if I just kind of like I'm not feeling it, I'll change it. But if y'all aren't feeling it either, definitely let me know and I'll change that music over to something else. Just if we have any like, I'm sure you guys know if you've watched my channel before, but if we, hey there Nalani, uh, good to see you in the chat. Um, but I was going to say uh, before I kind of like ADD took over, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so if I don't like the music, I'll change it, but if y'all don't like the music either, just let me know and I'll, I'll change it to something else. If y'all want to listen to a different genre, like lo-fi, if we change it to something, it catches that there's a copyright thing for DMCA, whatever, um, it's just going to mute it, so if y'all don't hear me whenever you're watching this later, um, that's why. <laughs> it actually happens a lot on my Life is Strange um, videos because there's a lot of copyrighted music in there. Um, not too much I can do about it because it's, uh, it freaks out whenever I try and like take off the music in the game. Probably because it's PS4 game download and not a PS5, but you know, whatever, the crosses we bear. 
So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get on in and kind of start, um, I think I'm going to start with the base, like I'm, I'm going to try and stick to the same poses that I drew like these um, characters in. Now, like I said, I'm just going to do Shigo for today and this is just me repeating it for myself because I like to like veer off um, the plan. I like to veer off the set plan. So if y'all see me doing that, you know, just let me be because <laughs> I like to take things and, and do a whole bunch of stuff uh, at a time. Like, sometimes I'll just change plans spontaneously. Uh, I know Twisted With, we were working out today, and I was like, oh, let's do this, like a candy in a candy shop. And he's like, no, we already got a plan going on. Let's stick to the agenda. I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead. Let's play this music here. Let me know if it's loud at all for you or not. It is pretty loud for me right now, actually, not going to lie. Okay. Sweet. All right. Let's go ahead and oh, accidentally screenshot. I'm like all out of sorts today. I had like a two-hour workout with Twist of With, and then from there, I went and bought some drill bits at Lowe's, which oh my god, Lowe's was crazy. Um, Fourth of July, right? I guess the people are taking the day off to do their own projects, things like that. Ugh, fa having characters face this way is always hard for me. I like I need I like them to face that way like this way um, but you know whatever that's part of being an artist you have your own favorite little favorite little things that you like to do so da -da -da -da. just like thinking on kind of like if I want her to be in the exact same pose or in like a different, slightly different pose. Like with Danny Phantom, if you didn't catch my previous one. See, Danny Phantom's like this. He's kind of like sit back a little bit and not as forward. And I think that's just because I was tired. I was like, ah, I don't want to try that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll take it as it comes. How about that? And it's only like a half body pose. So I mean, I think we'll be okay that I didn't like that I always like to start with the shoulders and like the torso first too because I feel like that helps me dictate how big this character is gonna be and then sometimes from there I'll build off of like the like build off of like the, the motion what is it called? I think it's called like a figure figure drawing or something and then I gotta like figure out the shoulders and then the thing with Shigo, it's like she's really, really strong, but then she's also really slender like a cat. If you, you know, take a look at my art, I draw a lot of beefy characters. Beefy or like, you know, very heavy set characters. Um, just because that's easier for me. I don't know. I feel like curves, like in terms of like, I don't know, curves in terms of the weight sitting like closer to the bottom, the center of the weight of gravity, like this, like a pear. It's easier for me, but you know, that's why we're we're doing this. Um, my whole goal for these um, Twitch streams is to get comfortable like drawing in front of people, but then comfortable in, you know, just kind of working out things on camera, which, you know, just, just a thing. It's not like to get famous or anything, but more so for me. I don't know about that those legs but you know what we're gonna trust the process okay and then I gotta like make it sort of realistic like I can't have her have like a super skinny waist and not make it make sense so here's like her abdomen here's like the pelvic area and then here are the thighs and we're gonna have her have thick thighs because I mean look at those thighs those thighs are pretty thick they're not skinny so I feel like we're gonna do this, but then we have to have like it centered properly. We gotta like kind of at least try <laughs> to make it look um, similar, like a similar pose. Okay. So, how's everybody else's 4th of July going though? Hopefully okay. 
And I know 4th of July is um, different for each family, each person. Some people are, go all out and others just don't really care too much. And that's kind of for us. We, um, you know, we're taking it as it is. Uh, we're celebrating that we're off of work. <laughs> um, but we don't, we don't go all out like America. I think for me, I always forget 4th of July is a thing, too. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad we're not, you know, we're our own country, but there's a lot of things with America that we also need to remember on 4th of July, you know? Like, for one, Trail of Tears, you know? Native Americans, their righteous homeland, it's, we need to pay respect to that, like, okay, you know, keep that in mind. Same for, you know, um for the whole slavery thing that happened. Now that sounds like a make it make it light, but it's definitely not. It's we're barely barely out of it like in terms of like a country. That what happened what back in like the 20s, the 30s, I don't know. I'm not too good with my history, but it was fairly recent like in historical time frame. So I mean, we need to remember that too. I feel like Sure, we can we can celebrate our independence, but we also need to be like, you know, aware of our history. So I don't know. I just got a lot of mixed feelings about this holiday, but we're not trying to get all crazy deep right now. <laughs> it's just me talking. Okay, I think I kind of made her a little too stable. I think she needs to kind of lean this way. So, let's do this. Because she's kind of leaning back, but then leaning her shoulders forward. So, maybe do this. Hold on. Maybe she, yeah, because she kind of faces here. So, I know my sketch is getting a little messy. So, I'm going to, like, erase some of it. Not erasing my art, but just like erasing it so I can have it not as distracting. So we have her kind of facing this way, and then we kind of have her turned right here. So. And she's kind of tall too, I feel. So let me get her leg kind of looking like it's going forward. And then her leg, her other leg, kind of behind. Ah, oh, that's really... I erased the whole thing. Whoops. That's okay. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of... Uh, tired of this song. <laughs> Let's see. This is pretty cool. I like this one. Okay, so maybe we tilt her down a little more. And I'm gonna take that arm, because that was a pretty good arm, and then I'm gonna move it forward. I feel like for me, art is just like this whole copy-paste process. You kinda gotta go with the flow. Here we go. Right, there we go. Okay. I'm like taking keys from the pose that's that was referenced for Shigo. This is like not a normal pose that I do either too, so it's definitely kind of like workshopping it a little. <laughs> That's me when I stream on Fridays. <laughs> this song. There we go. I, yeah, I just needed to move the arm up a little. It was looking weird. Now it's kind of symmetrical. And then her collarbone. And she's got like a long neck. I feel like I'm... That looks like Miss Bellum from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Uh, as y'all know, they, they revealed her face, um, and I think one of the episodes back way when, but 
I feel like it was only in concept art, and I feel like the episode never really came out, but, you know, I don't know. I might be going crazy. Might be the Mandala, Mandela effect. If anybody knows if they've, like, really revealed their face and has a quick time to Google, let me know. Because I feel like she had, like, like big lips, um, you know, kind of like her eyes were closed, like as in, like, you know, long mascara. Um, I think she had a nose. No, she. I don't think she had a nose. Um, and then she had, like, thinner eyebrows. But that, that might just be my, like, my personal, like, imagination at work there. I'll have to check it out sometime a little later. Okay, so we got our basic, uh, basic build down. Now it's time to kind of add more detail. So... I feel like I should start on her face, at least. She looks like she's... Well, she is a mean character, but she, like, really conveys it, so let's see. I want to give her, like, heavy eyelashes. Like, not heavy, but, like, strong eyelashes, like, wings. And then I've always imagined, like, if she were, like, real, she would have, like, cat-like eyes. I think that's just me kind of, like... I feel like they, they they hit it on point with Catra, like, with this character. I feel like Catra is, is a definite, like, good, um, a good, not reference, but inspiration. I think that was one of her inspirations with Shigo. I don't know. I think I'm just talking out of my butt here. <laughs> Let's see. So, let me place her eyes first. And then her nose was there. Her lips there. Okay. So. I think I'm going to give her eyeshadow too. How cool will that look? Like a. Like super. Like sharp eyelashes. Like. Or not eyelashes, but um. Wings. And then. Oh, not that sharp. That's a little too high. Right there. You know, like that one picture of that girl. Um. Doing her. <laughs> doing her uh, eye makeup with a knife <laughs> like her uh, her eyeliner with a knife that's kind of how I picture Shigo maybe she just do that uh, she was always like filing her nails in the show she's always unamused so and then let's... yeah look at that okay Her eyes like start, or high, her eyebrows, excuse me, they kind of start out like thick and then they go thin when they get closer in. So, oh, that was a good one. That, I like that. Okay. I feel like I have to tilt her eyes a little more, but, you know, let's kind of see where it goes. Yeah, look at that. She's got like a goth look going a little bit. I'm digging it. She kind of has like a small nose, but I mean, I think that's just the style. Because then Kim Possible's friend, what's her name? Monique, I think? Let's see. Monique, Kim Possible. There we go. Kim Possible voice, Kim Possible aesthetic. Kim Possible. Does she ever have a last name? No. Doesn't she have a. 
yeah, so it's kind of the style, I think, that makes it like that. Let's see. So, well, we have more room to play with. What kind of nose do we think she'd have? I think she'd kind of have like a straight, like that. A straighter nose. I'm kind of tired of this music. Let's just switch it up to EDM. I haven't played, heard, <laughs> I haven't played or heard <laughs> this playlist before, so we'll explore it together. Okay, that's okay, I think, for now. Mm -mm. She's kind of got like a smirk going, not a smirk actually, but like, like a downward <laughs> frown. Frown is what I'm looking for, that word. Okay, and I think, yeah, we need to tilt it, because she's got like a little sassy attitude. So, let's go ahead, let's tilt it. And let's actually move her eyes up a bit, and I think maybe make them smaller. She always looks pissed. <laughs> I mean, I think she is most of the time, though. I don't know, something just is off with the face. Maybe I need to make this one a little higher, a little closer. There we go. And maybe a little smaller, but you know what? We'll, we'll get there when we get there. So I imagine her with like high cheekbones. I kind of imagine her like a young Demi Moore, maybe. Like the high cheekbones. Mm. Not that high. Maybe. Maybe like fill out her cheek just a little bit. Give her a sharp jawline. And, okay, looking good, looking good. I imagine she would have piercings because all villains in the 90s and, what is it, uh, 2000 shows had piercings. They all look like alt, like aesthetic. So, okay, yeah, I think that's good. Now, wait a minute, her face is like, her features, her eyes are like, and her nose, too big, we gotta size them down. There we go, I think that makes her look a little good, a little younger. Okay, cool. I think we got a good start. I think we'll probably have to size down her whole head, but we'll get to that portion when we get to it. Let's create the rest of her head so that we can get her hair. So she's kind of got a side part, like right here, and it's like up high. So, let's do this. I always like imagine it like that, but I might just be thinking about that one Powerpuff Girl villain. What's her name? It wasn't Miss Bellum, but she did, she did, um, what is it? 
she did uh, replace her at one point. Was it? I'm a I'm a good I'm a good guy. I think was her name. And that was her like fake name. Oh, what was her name? She had like the crazy hair. She was like black and and red. Like she had like red outlines, black hair. She had like white skin and freckles. Oh man, she kind of like looked like this like this and then she had like her hair would be able to like do stuff man i don't remember what her name was this is gonna bother me hold on so what is her name her name is i'm a good lady i think i'm a good lady sedusa that is her name like medusa yeah so she basically was like uh in that episode if i remember correctly she was like trying to seduce professor utonium and um what happened was of course you know the girls found out right and uh they were like she's evil i swear <laughs> i think they were she was trying to send him to boarding school or something um but then uh what happened what happened what happened um basically they found her out then the second time she came around she was pretending to be miss bellum like and like uh, posing as her like being an imposter and um yeah uh that was pretty much the story they almost drowned her in a pool it got dark um she almost literally died but i mean fair because she was trying to kill them oh yeah i'm liking how this shape is turning out i just don't know how i'm gonna oh never mind i figured it out we got her bangs kind of going to the side here. And then she's got like a side swoosh. And then do this. She looks mean. Nice. Okay, let's kind of make her. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to like figure out how to make that point at the top of her head. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe just not follow it too closely. Just like go based off of the vibes. <laughs> okay. But she's got like big hair, so let's try this. Big. Let's try this. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. That looks promising. Nice. Okay, I think I need to make her neck a little longer. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. I think that's good. Yeah. Cause she's got to be young enough to fight a teenager, but not like... In her 30s I think she's got to be like maybe late 20s okay she's just kind of there <laughs> all right that looks good huh I kind of want to make her face a little thinner like that yeah there we go no that's too much There we go. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I'm going to stop stop touching it up. Okay. So now since we kind of messed with her neck, we got to kind of make it all flow nicely. Oh yeah, and we can have her hair fall over here this way. All right, Whew. okay, this is looking pretty good. There's a lot of F-bombs in this music. Uh, let me take a look and I can see like, one, two, three, instrumental maybe. Yeah, let's try to see lo-fi. There we go, this is way better. 
because all of this was like just f-bomb and then just like rap and i was like okay we got the edm but like i kind of want to just chill you know i want to be like blah, 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 trying to work out again after going to the gym twice okay and then i think her hair is not that curly it kind of falls down so like that and then maybe make this in a little more. Yeah. Okay, that works. I think that works good. And then they all have their hair down. Okay, cool. And then she's got like a jumpsuit. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's take some cues. Now that we got like her face all taken care of. Um, She's gonna have some cheekbone there. And that kind of like makes it look like a wrinkle. So there we go. Okay, we leave it as is. She's got like this jumpsuit. And this little, I think this is like, I don't know what these little circles are. Cause then if you look at Kim Possible's design, those it's like the circle for her belt and that's it. But I don't think this is a button. I don't know, it doesn't look like a button. Make it make sense, Kim Possible showrunners. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, cool. Uh, gotta do that, because it's a jumpsuit. So it's not like she's got like a uniboop or anything. And it's kind of skin tight because she... Is like a she's kind of like a Catwoman character too, if you think about it. <clears throat> she's um she's always going in stealing stuff and like just kind of fighting impossible. So we'll kind of like leave it there. I don't know her it looks ah it's a little too off center, so I'm just gonna move it. There we go. I think that looks better. Looks like I'm thinking about her arm too. It doesn't make sense if it's like all the way inward. The things you gotta think about as an artist. <laughs> Is the boob too far in? <laughs> um, okay, so we have that. Let's get her back in there. It's not like she's got no hips. So like that. I think, yeah, because then her abs would be right here and the pelvis right there. So, here's the stomach and legs. Okay. I think we're making good progress. Good headway. Here we go. And now we're making her leg kind of face forward there. So, we just kind of have to keep that in mind because then her other leg is facing to the side. So, we got those, those are the hip joints right there, and then we got her shoulder. Yeah, I like this music, this music is pretty good, I hope it doesn't get copy strike. <laughs> Copyright strike, yikes! Okay, here we go. And that's all you need. It's so easy to draw a lady with actual, like, real proportionate like body figure not like just like this my word I like I like styles that have and this is like not not saying this about like any like not as a detriment to anybody else who does have like a specific specific style that they draw women but for me as a woman I like to see diversity in cartoons because then you know kids are gonna see those cartoons but then also just me like as a person <clears throat> like to see all of that diversity in there because then you don't have like you know same face syndrome or anything like that like, it's okay when you're starting out as an artist but at some point you kind of got to grow out of it you know um get out of the same face syndrome now ruby has a different um it's different right with ruby they had a low budget 
they had a not they had one guy the own like not the owner but the creator monty Olam. he was the only person you know really doing everything for that show so it's like okay you have some leeway there because that's budget stuff like how are you gonna make a model for every single character in that show however with drawing it's different you should be able to draw so many different types of people like for me i struggle with it sometimes right um because i want to i want to do right by the people in that demographic so i'm always like taking a look and then if i can't do it at that point then i just practice practice makes perfect so always good to kind of have that mindset always growing you never want to just be stuck and be like okay i'm good here whenever you're doing art you just gotta kind of move forward and i think that's that's the same to be said like with life too i mean just move forward or you're gonna stay stagnant and then at some point you're not gonna be happy um now you can enjoy when you're like in a place right now you know but you always want to keep going to the next thing that's living baby Okay, I think I made the arm just like a little weird, so let me fix it a bit. <laughs> yeah, I made her I made it look weird. Like she's kind of hmm. I'm trying to pinpoint like what's off. I think it's her yeah, it's her hand. Her hand is like throwing me off. Hands are the bane of everybody's existence. I've never met a person who loves drawing hands. <laughs> hands are hard <laughs> okay so she actually has her palm right here so that's that placement so let's do this and then let's chart out where her palm is her palm is like kind of facing forward so let's just kind of figure it out from there I have a habit of making my hand super huge, and that's what, um, that's, I think that's what I said last stream too, but, I mean, it's easy to draw them big, but then you just size them down, but sometimes <laughs> I forget to size them down. <laughs> Happens. But, you know, at least they're not, like, yaoi hands. Those, oh my god, those are crazy. Like, they're, like, freaking these kind of hands, and then here's the body. <laughs> like it's like twice the size of the body <laughs> so let's see here do, 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 do. and she's like got that hip joint right there okay got it okay i think that is good mm, i think her hands are too long here we go so you gotta be near her hips. Hips don't lie, y'all. Hips don't lie. There we go. That makes more sense to me. Anatomically wise. Aha. Aha. Cool. Do I want to try for the other hand? <laughs> I will. I guess. It'll just be the fingers like coming over the hip, so it's not... Not too bad. It's just like these little digits right here. You know, she's got like sharp claws. So I think I'm gonna like add those later in when I'm like detailing. I'm not gonna worry about it too much right now. Here we go. And then let's get her love in mm -mm. okay so let's do this just kind of like doing what makes sense to me I think it being symmetrical would make sense. And 
Here's like the collar. And yeah, it's kind of just like, no, I don't like that. Cause I was thinking maybe it's like a headpiece where it's kind of like, here's the head, here's that, and then the, the neck piece, but no. Nah. That doesn't make sense because she's going to have like that fluid motion. So, let's bring up the hair a little bit because it's kind of bothering me that it's a little asymmetrical. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I don't like that either. Here we go. Make it thinner maybe? And like just flay it out to the end? Yeah, frayed maybe. Okay. Mm, I don't know, but it sits, so maybe we just get rid of this altogether. And then, yeah, that looks better. And then we just get rid of that. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. That makes more sense. It's just blowing in the wind. <laughs> So I don't have to think about hair and mechanics of hair too much. Okay, cool. So we got that. Um, bum, 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 bum. So she's kind of got like a peacock coat thing going on too. So let's kind of try and get in line with that. I think like the real will be right there. So make that a little thinner. This is the real line that's going on. The real opening, I should say. I'm gonna make it operate as a jacket. And then she has like this belt. And then that's where the button is probably. a little too weird. Okay. No, that looks weird. Okay, um, let's just make it a design bit. I don't know, maybe it should just stay as a cat suit. Cause I'm thinking about it in terms of like a jumpsuit and a coat. Uh, hey Roxy Roll, how's it going? Making some burgers and fries, some tots, awesome. Sounds delicious, America. <laughs> Um, this one's gonna be colored, so I just want to make sure I have like those keynotes in there Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make it a cat suit to be honest. That's gonna be the easiest way Plus it kind of makes more sense. She's like a cat burglar But we can still have like a zipper right here, so I Can have my cake and eat it too So then let's just make it in terms of like a design choice So Let's do this. I think that'll be cool. And then, like, all this is black. And I always imagined it having, like, a tech, like, texture, you know? Like how sometimes, you know, in Miles Morales, how a spider suit kind of looks with the, um, dots. I think that's how I'm gonna have her costume like have that texture mm -mm. she's got kind of got a two-faced thing going on here it's pretty cool there we go and let's just do that 
We'll keep in line with it. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> Let's just do that. I don't know how I like that. Man, they really did come up with a good character design. Okay, well, I think we're done with Shigo. That looks pretty cool. I feel like the, the placement of that button is just out of... There we go. I think that, that works more. Let's see. Let me take out this Shigo for a bit and just, like, kind of focus. Because it's still kind of bothering me. Maybe I need to tilt her back a little more. So like tilt her this way and then make her legs. Or maybe I need to tilt her forward. Hmm, I might experiment with it. Oh, I got some of her fingers in there. I feel like I just needed to tilt it a bit. There we go. Looks good to me. Looks and I think that was. <laughs> Let me look at my reference again. <laughs> yeah, that was color thing. So okay. Let's just add. A little bit of definition there. Maybe. Now that looks off. Alright. Well, that looks pretty good. I'd say. Let me make her a little bigger. I feel like I need to do that. I don't know. We'll go. Yeah, I feel like I need to make her sit back because then. It, yeah. Tilting her back and then maybe moving her leg in a little. It's always just tweaking. Tweaking it and touching it up. And seeing if it works. I like to like move it at the hip or like move it at the joints because then I feel like it just makes sense to kind of like move it there if like as if they're paper dolls kind of because then it's just easier for me to like think about it that way okay cool that looks pretty good I like that. I don't know about her ear. Maybe we adjust her ear a bit. So if we bring it down. There we go.
and how they do their eyeliner on their characters anyway. Oh, and in real life, they have a crazy fashion sense, a crazy cool fashion sense. Oh, I think that's too much. Let's kind of go with it though. <laughs> Let's go with it for now. Maybe move it up a bit. There we go. I'd imagine Shigo is a goth icon. <laughs> and I feel like she'd have a nose ring. Yeah. Eyebrow. <laughs> killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Looking good. Whoop! <laughs> I accidentally like double tap on the screen and then from there it like brings us in super close. There we go. Looks good. Impossible. I'm just thinking in my head right now. You know, I think, um, is it, what's her name? Uh, Kristen Stewart could play a good Shigo if they ever made like a King Possible movie. I mean, they did, but I heard it was not well liked. <laughs> She's got the dryness for it. Kristen Stewart. Kirsten? Kristen? Stewart. I don't know. I don't know her name. Uh -huh. You know who would be a really cool um, casting? Kiki Palmer as Rogue. <laughs> That's a really popular fan casting, but I think she would fit it to you, like talking about casting. Casting and Disney and all of that. Oh no. Do this. There we go. Nice. Yeah, look at that. I think her ear is a little too far out, so we're just gonna tilt it real quick. 
and get it right there yeah awesome oh my gosh line art is always scary for me because it always feels so final and then i get inside these like type of funks where i'm like hey nothing looks right <laughs> You know who she's reminding me of right now with that eyeliner? Um, what's her name? Ember from uh, Danny Phantom. She was also a pretty cool, cool character. Good, could. <laughs> pretty cool character. I could have, um, probably could have done her for the fan art stuff, but you know, you live and you learn. We'll maybe do it next time. Or maybe we can use her as a scion color for, uh, um, what is it called? Uh, the little pinwheel? The wheel of color? Um, the wheel of color, uh, challenge, art challenge. Sorry, all my head's just not in it today with, like, talking. I am tired from that workout. That means it was a good workout, though, so... Always gotta remember that fingers like overlap and it's not like trying to draw them all <laughs> so that's something I struggle with too but I'm getting better at it practice makes perfect okay let's give her more of a palm Halfway through, halfway through the art. And then my favorite thing is coloring, <laughs> just because we can add so many cool details and stuff. forgot I had a whole I have a whole protein shake that I have I've been super focused on just like drawing and straining I forgot to take it mm, tastes good and usually I don't like blueberry but this blueberry flavored one pretty good
I'm cheating a little bit on this one. <laughs> I'll just curve it. Look at that. I'm a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I don't care. <laughs> I want to get on to coloring. Coloring is going to be super fun. That's the hair. I was like, why is it so far in? Mm, nope, I don't like that at all. This one. Yeah. There we go. Gotta make sure there's curves, because... You know, her body's not flat. <laughs> Making good headway, making good headway. glove and then her hair and then we get on to the fun part
Anybody see that um, show Yellow Jackets yet? I am planning on watching it tonight. And I've heard it's crazy. Especially Wick was telling me about it while we were um, working out. <laughs> I'm excited to see what all the hype is about, to be honest. I don't like that one. I'm trying to make these lines a little thicker. Cool. Eh. Okay. Well, I think I'm done with that. That looks cool. I'm going to leave that abs. There's abs in there. Uh, the show's called Yellow Jackets. I think it's on, um, HBO Max. I've heard that one's pretty, pretty good, like crazy. Um, but Twisted Whip was just telling me about the first episode that he watched it. He didn't want to spoil too much, but I wanted to see if anybody else knew. Do you, have you watched that show, Nalani? said oh I see a lot of memes about it no I haven't oh okay so there's memes uh, that must be that it's a either crazy or funny show or both I don't know there was a lot of memes about the Jeffrey Dahmer one so yeah never, never mind actually kind of hard to tell if it's funny scary I heard a lot it happens just within the first episode so I'm gonna try and watch it tonight we'll see I saw some fan art of it the other day from an artist I follow, and so I know like a murder happens, but that's about it. That's all I know. But I don't know if it was just like fan art of a murder or something, which sounds bad out of context, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Let me do this. Let me just a little. Oh, she looks mean. Ugh. She looks like she's gonna hit me or something. Um, 
He said, kind of wanted to watch it because Melanie Linsky is in there, but never did. Melanie Linsky? Who's that? I know the lady from um, The Last of Us is in there. Uh, that's what that's what Twisted Whiff was telling me anyway. Is that Melanie Linsky? No, I don't think so. Yeah, actually, yeah, that is Melanie Linsky, I think. Um, is she Kathleen in uh, The Last of Us? Let's take a look. I'm just like looking it up right now real quick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep, Melanie Linsky, she's Kathleen in that one. Okay, gotcha, cool. And yep, you just told me, yep, her. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, okay. I haven't seen much of her work other than the Last of Us show that she's been in, but she's a really good actor in that show, so. Um, I heard Twisted With was saying that she plays a pretty, like a character who's like, you don't expect to drop the F-bomb, and when she does though, it's very serious. And I was like, oh, okay. But she's like a sweet character from what it sounds like. So I am now even more excited to kind of see the character dy dynamics in this show. Oh my gosh, hair is interesting. Come on. Take a look. I'm trying not to make it look like she has split ends, but it might be a little hard for me. <laughs> um, yeah, but she's in But I'm a Cheerleader. She is in that movie? What? What? No way. And also Castle Rock, but I uh, never finished that show. I've never watched Castle Rock, but But I'm a Cheerleader. No way she's in that movie. I'm gonna look it up right now. I know Natasha Leone is in that movie, but Melanie Linsky? Who's Hillary? Hillary in that movie. She's Hillary. Let's see. Hillary, but I'm a cheerleader. Who was that character? She wasn't my main character, huh? Natasha Leone was in that. I know RuPaul was in there, I think. Uh, oh, she's the one with the glasses. Okay. But I don't remember her character at all. At all. But I do remember that movie, But I'm a Cheerleader. It's been a while since I've watched that, though. I think I've, like, I think I saw it, like, two times. <laughs> and then that was it. I think my, out of all of the, like, movies for like LGBT, like old 90s, like old school 90s movies, I am a fan of Debs, um, which coincidentally reminds me of Kim Possible, <laughs> but um, yeah, man, but I'm a cheerleader, huh? A lot of, um, a lot of actors from that are getting pretty big, huh? You got Natasha Leone coming into the limelight after, um, what is it called? Um, Orange is the New Black, and then Russian Doll. Now you got Melanie Linsky popping up. Who is the other one? Um, I know RuPaul has done stuff, but yeah, Debs. You should definitely watch it. It's an acronym, so it's D E B as in boy E S or D E B S. I don't know how to spell. Um, so yeah, that one. It's about. Basically, a it's got Jordana Brewster in it, so the um, the sister from Fast and the Furious, um, it's got her in it. Uh, she's the main character. Well, not the really the main character. The main character is like the other lady, but she's like a um, international thief, 
and she falls in love with this um it's like a star-crossed love story but she falls in love with this like in training um cadet for like a special secret um what is it special secret like secret agency kind of like a secret service kind of or like they're all spies um so like think kim possible mixed with um that one spy show uh what is it called I think it's like called spies like i spies or spy club or something like that um and so they fall in love right but it, of course it's like a forbidden romance because she's a criminal and they do something like they foil like a plot or something but she's like trying to woo her she like gives back all the stuff that she's stolen uh, she has like this whole montage of like singing to the song and then at, at some point um, there they do like they get together right and her team finds out that she's been like sleeping with this um, this international thief and even though she's kind of like reformed now because she took back all of the stuff all of the money that she stole all of that um and then so basically they just elope at the end like you got the crime organization after them you got the agency after them and they just it's one of the only movies that they don't fridge their characters they don't kill off their gays um but it's it's actually a really fun movie it's not like super serious or anything like that but oh, the fireworks have started um but it's it's a fun movie i like it that's my favorite out of like the old school lgbtq queer movies it's really fun and it has like a really good soundtrack too but uh but i'm a cheerleader i was introduced to after that so i already had like a formed bias in favorite <laughs> um but yeah i always recommend it it's a really good watch and then there's this one me and my friend avery um lunar lady luna she and i watched the show on youtube way back in like 2019 i want to say and it was like i think it's called like just ashley or what was it it's like a i think it was like a buzzfeed ashley show I think it's called like what you don't know about Ashley unfortunately Ashley that's what it's called that's a good show too um, very very queer but it's also super super funny because it's got most of the BuzzFeed um, people in there and writing for it and then uh, let's see there is also Carmilla Carmilla was actually a really really good show too it's a web series so basically it's like a fixed camera point from a web camera about this freaking vampire uh carmilla she's pretty much the first vampire actually literally literary in fiction um she's before bram stoker's dracula actually she was created written before bram stoker's dracula and um basically what she and her like quote-unquote mother would do is they would scam these rich people that their carriage was flipped over they would be taken in and Carmilla the vampire she would go in and she would prey on um, you know whoever whoever fell victim in that castle so mostly it was like women but then there was also men that she would just eat and kill um, so that's that story right but it adapts that into where there's like this whole society of vampires and i don't know it's it's a really good show i've been meaning to re-watch it it's very um it's very hard for some to watch because it's from that fixed point you know web camera view but the movie you don't really have to watch too much of the show to watch the movie um, that one is like actually filmed like traditional filming so if you wanted to check it out it's all free on YouTube it's a good show um, let's see I think that's pretty much all but yep and I of course come out with this information 
uh, after Pride Month. <laughs> Late to the game, but you know, we're always here and queer. Okay. Go. Never too late for that queer representation. Okay. I think we're done with the hair. I like made it super detailed and I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> okay, cool. So now it's just coloring time. I'm just like doing my little checks and everything. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with it. Let's go ahead and let's color. <laughs> no! <laughs> that one little line, damn it! <laughs> okay, well, that's okay. Let's go ahead, let's fill it all in. Come on. Ingrate that. And boo boo, nice. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. I love just like coloring with this. I don't know. It's my favorite. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take some color cues, some color keys from the actual like cartoon drawing. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of mess with it a little later on. Now, I don't wanna do completely black, so what I think I'm gonna do, maybe like a purple, because it's a complementary color. Did we shade with all black? Please tell me we didn't. Because <laughs> then I'm gonna cry. Uh, Cause then that means I have to like choose lighter colors. So let me do this. Ugh, we did. We shaded with black, or we did line art with black. Well, oh well. It's not the end of the world. That means I'm gonna be, have to be mindful of my colors. More so than usual. Okay. And... Oh man, did we forget the line right here? I think we did. Oh, we'll just do that. I think that'll be easy. Okay. I feel like this should be green. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Cool. And then let me do this. Let me make your hair like a little green. That'd be cool. Green undertone. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see it that well, but it looks real nice. That green undertone. Dang, she has really bright skin. How are we going to go about shading that? Let's pick a color and let's kind of go maybe a little more yellow. There we go. It's a little better. Now she looks tired. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this needs to be black. Okay, cool. And then let's make her that. And then make it light green. Like that. It's just right there. Maybe put a lipstick on the bottom too. Yeah, that looks good. 
Okay, and then freaking bright, freaking neon green eyes. That's gonna look so cool. Here we go. They look like they're glowing. She radioactive. <laughs> All right. Nope, that's like gray. There we go. Nice. She looked mean. She looked like she'd actually like try and kill Kim Possible, I feel. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> uh, for Kim Possible, anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead, duplicate that so we can have our color queue still, and we'll just color. And then I think we're gonna actually run out of time here, because I gotta go eat, but We'll finish Shigo first. We'll do a little pizzazz for the background and then we'll call it call it a call it a success today. Thank you all for joining in. I'm appreciative you're spending your 4th of July with me. pretty good like um instrumental i hope i don't get copyright for it because <laughs> it's actually pretty good i'm just like neatening out or neatening i'm making it neater the uh colors just cleaning it up and then i'll go over select them and color them back in or the details, do the detail work. It makes detail work super easy, too. Because then you can just select it, do your little details or your textures, and then you're done. It streamlines the process super fast. Make it the color of her eyes. I think that'll be cool. Oh, you can't really tell, huh? <laughs> oh well. Let's do this. And then we'll put a pop of shine on it. We'll, we'll give her some glow effects too because I remember in the Kim Possible movie their suits like glowed pretty cool oh the cartoon movie I mean not the uh, not the live action I haven't seen that if that wasn't clear. Hmm, <laughs> funky beat. This is looking real fine. Thank you. 
We're gonna get into my favorite part. It's gonna be texturing. Shading, not so much. Shading's not my favorite. But texturing, mwah, chef's kiss. Sometimes I just love it so much. Unless I don't know how to texture it, <laughs> then I'm like, uh, how do I do this again? <laughs> I don't really color too much with green, so this is um this is a nice change of pace. She looks, uh, she reminds me a little bit of like Sailor Pluto with her hair. Okay, let's color pick. Cat eyes. Ooh, 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 I like that. Ah, I like it. Look at that. Dang. Okay, let's give her a little gray nose piercing. Color in her lips. I don't like coloring with black, like straight up black, too much because I feel like it's a very strong. Like, it, it's too strong sometimes. Most of the time it's too strong, actually. See, how does that look far away? That looks pretty good. Okay, let's get in here and do a bright. There we go. Nice. Okay, cool. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Woo! So excited. So now we're just going to do a little bit of shading. Like I said, this makes it easier. Look at that. Do the um, eyeshadow a bit. 
like the makeup. I think my dog's crying because uh, the fireworks have started. He'll be okay though. He used to not be as bad, or he used to be worse actually, um, when we were in an apartment building. My word. He would freak out. I think now that we're in a bigger place, he's learned to kind of chill out a bit more. Poor little chickies. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Maybe get her a little darker right here. No, that doesn't look right. Yeah, there we go. That looks okay. Maybe I need to do that. Yeah, that's what was, what looked weird. Okay, cool. So I got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and let's kind of make her hair glow a bit. Yeah, I got pretty much all the color keys in. I'm gonna merge down so that I'm not using too many layers. Let's do that. And then we're gonna shade it with like a light green. So this is like a really quick hack for me, like a cheat. I just kind of like sh put it wherever the shine would be. Like I think about where it would be. And then I kind of just go in and do it. So I go in and smudge it like that. And then I smudge it in a way of where the hair is flowing. So if you watch any of my old speed paints and you see what's going on, you know what's up. It's the, uh, it's the shading, or the coloring of her hair, making it pop out a little more. You kind of just have to like work at it until it looks good and then leave it alone. <laughs> okay. And right now it looks like it's too much, but once we like filter the layer, that's what the whole hack is about. Not filtering the layer, but like doing a layer blend mode. Hot artists don't gatekeep their secrets. <laughs> and that's not even secrets, it's just like hacks. Hacks and tips and tricks. 
because if you think about it too, no artist does one thing the same way. We're all different people, we're all different with learning how we do art. So it's like, as long as you're not like tracing the art outright, you're not copying any like ideas outright and then just calling in yours without giving that inspiration or showing where you got the inspiration from, I feel like you're okay. Like for me with that Spider-Verse video that's blowing up right now on Instagram, I make sure to let everybody know, hey, it wasn't just me that did this idea. I mean, we're, you know, taking inspiration from a movie for one, but then I'm also taking inspiration of another artist that did it first. Uh, their name is like True Ru, I think, uh, 1216, and they did it before me. They're actually the one who inspired me to do my own. So it's like, okay, yeah, sure, it's not my idea first, but it, it definitely like pay respects to them for inspiring me to do it. And then also paying respects to the movie, because the movie is the one who did it first, right? They created the whole idea, so. I just gotta, gotta be chill about things. Oh, look at that. Nice. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Oh, oh, I like that one. Eh. Eh. Maybe? No. Maybe the one that I liked. That one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah. I like it. Chill is mean. Mean green machine. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's do some uh, flyaways ink them a bit and I'm gonna use my trusty dry ink pen to kind of like help out with that to make it and why I do this is to make it pop more I think it looks better for my style and I like doing like rough line art and then being able to like color it smooth like that just like it Scratches a certain itch. I don't know. I really like it though. It's my favorite thing to do. Sometimes it calls for smooth line art though. So I'll do that sometimes too. But I really like the rough style. It looks nice. It looks nice and it looks like it's actually like hand drawn and sketched. Because if you sketch, if you like do line art on paper, paper is not totally smooth, you know? This, it makes me feel like I actually drew it and I didn't like. I don't know. It, it gets rid of that imposter syndrome feeling sometimes. When I do like rough line art and then just do the smooth colors. And it's just a stylistic thing too. Okay, cool. So let's erase some of this to like lighten it up a bit. Can't all be bright and like consistently strong. We're just like making it less intense. There we go. Cool. Let's go ahead. Maybe do some highlights on her eyes. I don't know. That doesn't seem to. It looks like she's gonna cry. Let's not do anything like that. Maybe like this. Yeah, that looks good. Let's give her a little shine on the nose ring. And, oh yeah, we were gonna do this. And no, I wasn't gonna do that. Okay, cool, so now let's go ahead, let's add that texture in, and then we're Gucci. We're good. So for both, like the black, I'm gonna do a different color. So I'm gonna try and go for like a scion, like that. And then I'm gonna get it like a, like a screen tone, like that. But maybe make it a little bigger. Nope, a little smaller. 
But you know what I could do is I could just go ahead and do this. Let me, let me just color it all in. And then what I can do is I can do an actual like half tone. Duh. Do that. Invert it real quick. Oh shoot. No, I gotta get back in there. Invert that and then cut it. Maybe I need to change the color. Oh, look at that. That looked cool. There we go. Let's try it. Let's just keep it like that and see what happens. So, automatic. Let's do this. Let's fill it with a darker green. Fill it, and then I'm going to do another half tone. I'm gonna try and match it to like the same size. Like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select it again. <sighs> Shoot. Okay, let's do this. Select these guys. Oh, I guess it is a selection. Let's go ahead, invert it, and clear it out. Oh, shoot. There we go, now we can go ahead and cut. Nice, and then let's go ahead and well, I just wanna give it like some depth and dimension, you know? I don't wanna leave it Too crazy and then I'm gonna go over do some shading over the texture and then we'll be good I keep saying and then we'll be good and then not being okay and done with it so let's just shade in the green and that all right because then we can actually see the shading and coming in Kind of doing it messy right now because I'm gonna clean it up in a bit.
ha ha. We're getting there. This looks so good. I'm actually surprised how this came out because I had no idea, you know, what I was going to do. Kind of going into it. Excited, can you tell? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I think I need to shade more render grudge, but it will be good. Like that, maybe. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, and then maybe a little over here, but no. Maybe around her belt, just a little bit. Um, but maybe. good <laughs> I say we're good and then <laughs> one last touch really <laughs> okay and maybe a blush maybe 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 like a greenish greenish blush let's try it I'm just gonna try it and if it doesn't work out then we'll leave it alone and this is me telling myself that you guys you don't hold me to it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to do. Let's do the dry ink. Let's try. Uh, 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 maybe. Maybe. She likes like an. Looks like an e girl, kind of. Let's see. good uh mm, zooming out now not really maybe if we do like soft light okay that's okay that looks good i like it let me do some like little accents and then i will stop saying and we'll be done <laughs> Sketching and inking. Let's do jazzas real quick. Make it a little smaller.
I think I'm doing too much. Let's do that. Nope. We're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. This so it's not as harsh, and then huh, weird. Okay, um, I think that was part of the music. See, told you we were going to do the talons. <laughs> now let's do this. Okay. all in a group and be nice and neat. Alright. Let's do this. We're gonna flatten that out. Mask that. Oh, clipping mask. Push down. That works ish. I don't know. Maybe we'll do purple. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. So we got that. And let me. We're going to do this. We're just basically doing the outline. 
Oh, but it doesn't look right. Okay, well, that's fine. Didn't have to do that. Okay, well, we're done. We've got Shigo. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to write a little note in here. We're going to do my name, of course. We're going to go at, at Painty Menti so everybody knows who did this. And then we're going to go to the side. We're going to go Shigo. From Kim Possible. And let me do this real quick. There we go. Shigo. Gotta center it a little bit. Okay, cool. So I hope y'all enjoyed this stream. Um, I hope y'all have a wonderful Fourth of July. And um, with that, we got our little Shigo. We got her next time. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're probably just gonna go ahead. We're gonna start doing some um, some other work in progress art, um, like because that's what the. Uh, that's what the uh, poll voted on on Instagram. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and click that follow because we're close to our 666 subscribe, uh, not subscribers, followers. And at that point, we're doing a little raffle on that end. And then if we can get 250 followers on Twitch as well, we'll do another raffle for Twitch. Um, now, that's going to be first place, full out commission, right? Second place, line art commission of a, a favorite character. And third place will be a sketch of the favorite character. That's both for Instagram and for Twitch. Instagram, we're probably going to get to that raffle first. Hopefully, we can get there soonish around Twitch, but no worries. I'm not in too much of a rush. But um, either way, I hope. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your night. You take care. You be safe with those fireworks. Um, you know, give your dogs lots and lots of cuddles if they have that anxiety um, around the fireworks. And have wonderful, wonderful food. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. And then I'm going to be streaming on Friday. That's going to be my last stream for the next week or so. Because Tuesday and Friday, or actually Tuesday, next Tuesday, I'm going to be in Austin. Um, so I won't be able to stream and, and see you guys, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll go ahead. I'll post this art on Instagram and then, um, you know, if you don't follow me there, just follow me there. Buenas noches, uh, Nalani and have a great night. Bye guys.